let's take your videos from this to this. What is going on everybody? Let's hop right into it. If you are in the videography space, videographer, you're a filmmaker, docu whatever, you fill it in. Make sure you work on your lighting. Let me get a little sip. I'm getting hyped up already. Lighting is so crucial. It's so crucial. I'll even rank it higher than the newest camera that's about to come out. Listen, I get it. We all want the new shiny object. I'm, a, I'm guilty of it. Every time a new camera comes out, I want it. But really and truly, whatever camera you do have, you have to ask yourself, are you maximizing it to its full, fullest potential? And lighting will be a determining factor of that. I'm gonna put lighting up there. We'll talk about audio another day. But the lighting is so crucial. The lighting, you can control the mood, set the tone, change the feel. You can do so many things with it. You can enhance the look of your image. You can have the most expensive camera in the world, Sony A1. You got the AR5, A7S3s, FX3s, all of those things. You can have it. But if the lighting is trash, it doesn't matter if Sony is a low light monster. If the lighting is trash, it's, you're not going to have the greatest image or you are limiting yourself to what your image can look like. The more light that you can control, the better that image is gonna be. You start getting that light in the sensor, it is gonna make your image look so, so much better. It's gonna give it that look, it's gonna give it that feel, and it can give it a feel that you can control. I was shooting on iPhones before we had all this and lights in the background, I was shooting on iPhones iPhone 6, iPhone 10, those were my cameras. And because I had a decent lighting setup, and mind you, I was on a super budget, so I didn't have anything crazy, but I just had external lights that I was just, I was just able to get lighting, more light into that sensor. I was able to create some images that I could put, put it against other people who had the big dog video cameras, they had the cameras, but they just didn't know how to utilize it, how to maximize it. So. Because I was limited in my resources, I focused on those details. I focused on like, okay, how can I put this light to make this feeling a little bit more dramatic? Or how can I make it moody? What can I do? So as the equipment started to level up, I put more energy and time into still working on lighting, getting audio together. So a lot of the budget goes to the lighting setup. Like even something like this, talking headpiece, chopping up with you guys. I have my key light above, well, kind of above me. And this is a Godox SL60. It is not the most powerful light. This is, I probably wouldn't use this light outdoors on a sunny day. I would use something a little bit more powerful so I can beat the sunlight. But for indoor projects, corporate settings, when usually I'm going to be in an office, small businesses, any place where I'm just indoors. I could use this one. This one goes with me pretty much everywhere. Outdoors, I want something a little bit more powerful. So, and I have a basic softbox, a Godox softbox, and behind me, and it's on a Bowens mount if anyone's interested, behind me is the Ulanzi RGB light, which I, I'm gonna do a review on it. This RGB light, I'll, I'll unveil it. If you have it, let me know, but I'm a big fan. I love RGB lights. <laughs> I, love R I love tube lights, I love RGB lights, and then I have, I don't even know what this guy is right over here. I forgot. I picked it up. It was like, it was so cheap on Amazon. I just got it. And right. And from there, I'm able just to create just a different energy. I can change up the lighting. I'm big on color science. That's something that you want to know as well. Just having an understanding of how colors work with each other, the marriage of the two. This is basically, you could see this, the orange and teal, the quintessential orange and teal color science combination. Everybody should know it, use it, know why it works, understand why pretty much every movie, every drama, TV shows, they do use the orange and teal combination because it works, it looks natural, but understand these things. Figure out, do the research why pretty much all movies at some point, they adopt orange and teal, right? Not every single movie, but the majority of films that you see utilize orange and teals in their scene. And just understand how the marriage of warm tones and cool tones 
work with each other. And once you understand those concepts and how that now interacts with the lighting that you use, and when you understand those rules and you start knowing the fundamentals, that's when you start breaking the rules. That's when you start trying new things, experimenting, really allowing your personality and your art to shine. But before you get to that, know the rules. So your next investment, if you do not have an external light of some sort, I would highly recommend it if you are in the video space. And really, of course, if you're in the photography space, that's something why I still love photography and still have a passion for it. Because when you have a flash, when you're using strobe lighting and doing flash photography, you can really just start separating yourself from the pack to where you can create story photography. You're, you're creating cinematic, you're creating just that look where it's like, okay, this looks like it's from a pulled from a still from a movie. And that's what you can do for your video, just with a small investment. So before you go ahead and start trying to get the new body, figure out, okay, do you have your lighting for not only for yourself, for your passion projects, but for, for your paid work. What type of paid work are you getting? What type of paid work, upcoming work do you have? What type of clientele do you have? What type of lighting would call for that particular scene? You know, So if you're on a limited budget, I would always say upgrade your, your gear according to the jobs that you're getting and the type of jobs that you're getting. So if you're starting to get more corporate work, client work like that, I would suggest, yeah, start looking at getting some some straight, you know, some some lighting soft boxes that can really help take your your project to another level. If you're doing more run and gun type work, maybe you need to start getting some hot shoe lights and things like that. So just figure out where it fits in your workflow, where it fits in your clientele. But I would highly suggest it's not even if you should, you need to get lighting. You need to get external lighting. I would probably have more, if I was like just starting out, I would probably have way more lighting gear than I would cameras. I would definitely have more lighting than camera lenses. I do now, I have way more lighting and tube lights, RGBs, f squares, uh, consistent light, yeah, like pure power, all of that. Yeah, then lenses, because I really understand the importance of it. And that's how you want to start separating yourself, too. It's like if you're coming up and you're in video, you want to make your name for yourself. You want to have your style and you can start shaping your style and start shaping it by experimenting with an understanding of how lighting works. I'm a big proponent of it. If you have great lighting, good audio, understanding color science. You don't have to have the newest shiny object. You don't have to have the newest shiny camera. You really don't. And we all know that that the lens is really where it's at. So before you go out and try to break the bank, because Sony just dropped the new A7-2R and A7C, A7C2 and A7C2R. All right. Okay. Okay. I get it. I want it too. I get it. But what you currently are using, are you maximizing it to the fullest? All right. So I'm going to get out of here. Before I go on a rant, I was almost there. I was about to get on a tangent. More videos on the way. And if you found any value in this, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. More videos are on the way. Let's go.